Hello, Cool on the Ground. We are here at Mike Newsom for LR Bags. Aloha, Mike. How are you doing? Very good. Nice to see you again, Aldrin. Always nice to see you, buddy. So uh, tell us what you guys got for 2015. Okay, this is really cool because it's a little bit different than what we've done in the past. But um, the last few years, we've been doing what we call LR Bags handcrafted video sessions where we go film artists in studios, mainly based in Nashville. Some of the artists we filmed include Ricky Skaggs, Kathy Matea, Sturgill Simpson, and Valerie June. And you know, we would be tracking with their systems because it was an LR Bags video, and which isn't typical. We usually, use microphones in the studio. Okay. But um, what would happen is we'd track with our systems, and then by the time it got back from the mixing engineer in the final stage, it was like, okay, what happened? <laughs> you totally brought this, well, this studio yeah, yeah, studio sound to the pickup system, and. Uh, so over the past year, we really keyed in on some of the, the tools in the studio that really brought our pickups to life and gave it that final process sound. And after hearing that, we were inspired to bring that to the stage to our customers that are playing live. It's like, okay, how are we gonna get this sound that we're really digging from these, these sessions into a DI box that you can actually plug in and get that sound live. So this year, 2015, um, in about a couple months, we're going to be introducing the Session Acoustic DI. Okay. And this thing is basically studio magic in a DI box. Um, <laughs> you want me to talk a little bit about yeah, the yeah, features? Yeah, yeah, tell us about the features. Okay, so one of the main things we found in the studio with working with artists and working with mixing engineers is we found out how awesome saturation is to the acoustic guitar. Um, when you saturate the signal, basically what you're doing, it's a form of distortion, but we voice this for acoustic instruments. A lot of mixing engineers will use uh, tape head saturation or tube saturation right. to really warm up the signal and uh, give it a lot of really great harmonic content. So this is our analog saturation. It's the character that we liked from the studio that we created and built into this box. So it's 100% analog. Um, Another thing that was really, really important for the mixing stage of the acoustic guitar was multi-band compression. So you'll see this knob on here. It says Comp EQ. Um, it's not a typical compression that you would find on an acoustic pedal or acoustic DI. This is multi-band compression, which is hyper-focused on three bands. So it's not gonna squash your signal. It's basically gonna be a touch-sensitive EQ. It's gonna tame Three of these bands that we found in the bell curve kind of problem frequencies for the guitar. As soon as you tame those, it allows all the great frequencies to come through. And that's what they were doing with our pickups in the in the studio. And um, so that's available on here. So if people are asking, is there EQ in this? Yes, it's very different than our other boxes. This is touch sensitive or dynamic EQ. And I always like to say this when I can, We've tested it on the Uke pickup, R50, and it worked awesome. Basically what it does is it warms it up and smooths out some of the attack. Nice, nice. Yeah. And it's also have a high pass filter on it. That yes, that's yeah. right. So there's some other things we built in that was useful to our artists that we were working with. We have a high pass filter, which is at 40 cycles, essentially off, 80, 120, and all the way up to 200. Um, you might want to pass at 200 when you're working with a really big PA, you have a bass yeah. player, you have a lot of low frequencies in the mix, and you just need to get your frequencies yeah. out as an acoustic player. As a ukulele, like that's that's huge because uh, yeah. a lot of us use that high frequency. So when I saw that, yeah, you uh, might not need that. There. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has a ground lift. Um, pretty simple to get up and running. That's my favorite thing about it. Uh, in a lot of ways, this is the best sounding preamp that we've made, but it's super easy to use. It's like you know. You just dial in the saturation compression and you're pretty much done. Um, runs on 9 volt battery, phantom power, or DC. So three powering options, which is really great. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what's the main difference? So I mean, I use the, uh, the venue. I mean, other than the compression EQ and the saturate, yeah. could they work together? Or? They can yeah. work together. I don't. I would never tell somebody they have to use them together because they're both great standalone, right. but they are very different. The Venue DI is more of a hi-fi box. It has a little bit of character. Obviously, with our circuitry, it's going to have our character. But this is more of a hi-fi box and with a lot of tone shaping, a lot of EQ. So somebody can be their own sound man. Um, and then there's other things like the boost and the, and the tuner built into it. So it's an all-in-one, kind of do everything DI. This is all about a character that we like from the studio. 
It's like, okay, how can we get the expertise of a mixing engineer using some of the best equipment in the studio and make that not complicated, put it into a really easy to use live DI. Um, this will enhance the venue DI. So if you want to use them together, uh, you can run them together. The uh, circuitry is all discrete and signal path, same thing with the venue. So you could actually run quite a few of these and it's still going to be really low noise, high quality. Awesome, but, awesome. I don't know. <laughs> for, for a player like, I, I don't really play acoustic out, but if I did, I like simplicity, so I probably would use this. But there's other players that really want to dial their sound. Yeah. The venue has a, a lot of powerful tools for that. Right. So, And uh, we ran this over with Lloyd's car the other day, and it um. still worked. So <laughs> the design of this thing is super roadworthy. <laughs> Yeah. It's built to last. It's built to last. <laughs> right on, man. Hey, thank yeah. you. Where can they find uh, a new session of music? So right now, the, if the product's not shipping. It should be shipping in the next couple months. Uh, awesome. But if you want to watch, we put together a four-minute video that tells the story of the product. You can find a little bit more about it. Um, Is that on your website? LRBags.com forward slash session. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Thank you, Aldrin. So check them out, guys. LR Bags. All right. Uh, new session DI. This is Aquila on the ground.com. Aloha.